Do not miss any of our cool videos. Subscribe to our channel for latest updates. Click on the bell icon now. Hello everyone, welcome to RoboGrace. My name is Thomas and in this video, I'm going to be introducing you to a new no-code development board called the VO Terminal. The VO Terminal is a very beginner-friendly microcontroller that you can use to get into DIY electronics, IoT and even Tiny M, all without knowing how to code. This little device also hosts plenty of features such as a built-in 2.4-inch LCD screen, three push button, five-way switch. It has also connectivities like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. It has onboard IMU, microphone, buzzer, light sensor, IR sensor, along with a micro SD card for larger files. It also has two multifunctional growth port to connect your external growth sensors. And it has a Raspberry Pi compatible 40 pin GPIO to connect your external Raspberry Pi hats. And as mentioned before, this whole device can be programmed in an online GUI editor, but if you prefer the traditional route, you can also use Arduino and MicroPython as well. So without a further ado, let me show you how you can get started developing on this device using an online block-based editor. To get started with the VO terminal, we go to a particular website called ide.tinkergen.com. This is the code editor that we will be using with the VO terminal. Once you're here in the website, there is an option called VO Terminal, so you click on it and you will be presented with this code editor. Now in this code editor, there's a couple of things here, files where you can open new files or existing files. Note, if you do want to save some files on the online portal, you do need to sign up. Otherwise, just to use the portal, you don't have to sign up. Here on the left side, we have the, the categories of blocks that we can use to program our VO Terminal. I will come to this one by one later in the tutorial. Here we have the VO terminal shown up and here we have options to open the serial monitor and upload the code. So when you click on the upload button first, it will prompt you that you will have to install this particular device assistant. Now I already have it installed. So all I'm just gonna do is run the app. So once I open the app, it will be running in the background and I can easily interact with the device through my web browser. So let's get to coding. So for the first example, I will make a very basic hello world program. For that, we first go into the system tab. You drag the setup and loop block outside. So the setup section of the block will run that particular piece of code or commands once at the boot up of the device and whatever is kept under the loop section, keep rerunning the code again and again. So say if we have some repetitive action or if you want to keep sensing a particular data from a particular sensor, you put that in the loop block. So now, since I want to dis do a hello world, I go to the display tab and I drag the first one screen towards by default. So this will set the orientation of the text block on the screen. So I will keep it as, leave it as default, but you can do left, right, or upside down. Again, I go to the display tab and I drag the set text size block. Here I will set the text size to super big. Again, I open the display block and I drag on print, the print block. Now in the print block, I will type hello world, hello world. And here I have to set the coordinates on where that text will be exactly displayed. So for now, I'll just give a random numbers, 40 and 60, since I want it somewhere in the middle of my screen. And that is pretty much it. To upload the code, you connect your USB Type-C cable to your VO terminal. Once, once connected, make sure your CodeCraft Assistant is running and then click on upload. Select the correct COM port. So for me, there's only one COM port since this is the only device that is connected, COM6, and click on OK. Now the code is uploaded. Your Windows Explorer screen will automatically open up. If it does, just close it and you're good to go. And here I have Hello World printed on the display. 
Now this is this was a very simple program. So let's make take things up a notch. So as I mentioned in the specification, we have a five way switch here and we have three push buttons. So let's program these push buttons and this five way switch to do something. So this is the code I will want to run in my loop block since the device needs to keep checking if the user did press that button. So under the controls, I will scroll down and there is an if block. So let me drag this if block under the loop. Now if what? So let's say if I press the button A. So, in, so if I press button A, I want the display to change color to green. So let's say I want that. So I go to the system. Let's see button pressed. So if button A is pressed, what do I want to do? Go to the display, set screen background color to green, for example. Now I also want to attach functions to the other buttons as well. So similarly, I go back to the control tab, drag another if block, and let's say if I press the button B, I want it to play some sound. So let's drag the speaker command, speaker play tone command. So this can be left at its default. You can play around with the settings and see what kind of sound it creates. And if I want, if I press the five-way switch, oh, okay, oh, oops, I have to again drag the if block first. So another if block. Now if I point the five-way switch up, I want it to clear the display and print welcome. So let's see LCD clear and background color black. And I want the display to print. Welcome. Welcome. At again 40, 16. And that's pretty much it. Let's try uploading and see if this works. I click on the upload code. I select the correct COM port and click on OK. Open it up this Windows Explorer. I will just close it down. And here we have the new code uploaded. Now, as you notice, it's same as before, hello world. That's because our setup function does print the same as the previous code that we uploaded, hello world. But the difference is now if I click any of these buttons, it should do different things. So if I click on button A, our screen background should turn green. So let's see if that happens. Yep, it turned green. Now if I press button B, our music should start playing from the speaker. Let's see. And it does. Now if I point this five-way joystick up, it should print welcome. And we have welcome here. And I can keep playing around with this and do how much ever I want. So this is how we run any simple code on the VO terminal using a series of blocks. We also have more options like reading from serial. We have math options available. We have, we have an option to create variables, to store variables. We have option to connect some growth sensors, external sensors, and we also we will also have options to use machine learning and tiny ml on this particular board which we will be seeing more on the upcoming videos on this series thank you for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something and i hope this will encourage you into going into the world of diy electronics and programming without worrying too much about knowing how to program in the next video i'm going to be showing you how you can start running tiny ml projects on this video terminal through this particular block editor. Until next time, stay safe and keep tempering.